on Freedom of Press, Life, Liberty, Levin. I call him the great one every Sunday night, number one show, syndicated radio host, Mark Levin. Uh, did I read this correctly? That Twitter banned the great one, Mark Levin, after you no. quoted... No. They, they slapped me. They I slapped quoted you. the Constitution and they slapped me. <laughs> Well, well, Twitter can go to hell, and Facebook can go to hell. Oh. Uh, of course they would. They don't believe in the Constitution. You're showing Wait, I but, but, but you quoted the Constitution in the tweet, right? That's what yes. they... Yes. Okay, we're in trouble. Yeah. We're doomed. Look, the reason Alito did what he did, and let's pray to the good Lord that there are five justices who are constitutionalists on the court, because Roberts clearly is not, is because of Article 2, Section 1, Clause 2 of the Constitution. And the left and the Democrats hate this clause. Why? What does it say? Each state shall appoint in such manner as the legislature thereof may direct a number of electors equal to the number of senators and the representatives. This is really the only place in the Constitution where the framers of the Constitution and the ratifiers go into the federal Constitution and say, not the state courts, not the federal courts, not the governor, not the bureaucracy, not Congress, but the states are going to make the election laws on determining how to choose the electors for president of the United States. So the Democrats have spent their careers trying to destroy that section of the Constitution. Why? Because they want to win states like Pennsylvania. The governor of Pennsylvania, who is a left-wing kook Democrat, tried to get the legislature to change the deadlines to, to move them out for mail-in voting. He wanted them to get rid of the comparison on the uh, signatures. Uh, the Secretary of State wanted to be able to cure the ballots, in other words, go back and tell people how to fix their ballots, among other things. The, the Republican legislature said no. So the Democrats go where? To the Democrat-controlled and elected uh, Supreme Court of Pennsylvania, which is a rogue court, every bit as much as the Florida Supreme Court was a rogue court, and that court gives them what the legislature would not. In fact, that court said that the deadline among other things, was unconstitutional because of the virus. It is an utterly rogue court. The Democrats have gone into state after state after state. As a matter of fact, the Democrats uh, brought over 300 lawsuits and their left-wing friends brought over 300 lawsuits during this election to change the election rules in states, uh, and, and they did change a lot of them. The Biden campaign specifically brought 60 lawsuits beginning in August, so what did they do? They wanted to change the rules. So let me answer Chris Christie and Alan Kingsinger, whatever the hell his name is, and all the other Republicans who are out there saying, show me the evidence of fraud. I'll show the evidence of fraud, boys. They changed the rules. Why did it take till 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. the morning after the election in 2016 to know who the winner is, but we're still counting votes today? Now, why were the rules changed by the Democrats? Because they believe in good government? because they wanted to help Republicans? No, they fixed the rules to help Democrats. That's why Alito and hopefully four other justices are saying, segregate those votes. Those were done by the state Supreme Court of uh, Pennsylvania in violation of the federal constitution of the United States. Look, I have a lot more to say, but let me just say this before I uh, lose my time. There's more evidence of voter fraud than there was ever evidence of Russia collusion. So those who keep saying, let's see the evidence, where the hell were you the last four years? You were nowhere. The Democrats went earlier and earlier voting and later and later counting. Now, why do they want that? More time, more time to fix the system. I don't mean reform it. I mean fix it in their favor. They believed in flooding the system, create chaos. They've done this in a number of places. Grab power and then accuse your opponent of misbehavior. Where does that come from? Two Marxist professors, Cloward and Piven, that was their ideology. The Democrats have embraced this for years and years. Now we're supposed to have unity. Let me tell you something. I'm part of the new resistance. God forbid if our president doesn't win. They didn't give this man one minute of peace when he was president. Not one minute. State criminal investigations, federal criminal investigations, congressional investigation, phony impeachment, coup attempts, the Obama-Biden administration uh, with, the, with the FBI spies and all the rest, at no time during the last four years did Joe Biden say, let's unite around our president. 
So, Mr. Biden, God forbid if you're president, but I personally intend to treat you the same way Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Jim Acosta, Fredo Cuomo, and all the rest of them treated my president. So, you're not, I am not uniting around this man any more than they united around our man. But it ain't over till it's over. And let's see what the Supreme Court does, and let's see what happens in these other cases because they're vital. And by the way, in 2000, when we had the, uh, the, uh, the challenge, Al Gore had 37 days where in one state, Chase and Chad, we have multiple states, the president needs more time.